Well, hi there. After my What's in My Bag 2022 video, a ton of you asked me for, for a backpack recommendation that's not so, so camera bag-ish. What I got from all of the comments that you guys said was that you're looking for a backpack that's more of like a minimal everyday looking backpack, but that can also carry camera gear when you want to carry camera gear. So I scoured the internet, I looked around a ton, I talked to a bunch of people, and I think I found what you're looking for. Where'd it go? There it is. I believe. I believe it's in this box. Before I open up the backpack in this box, a massive thank you to the sponsor of today's video and just a supporter of this channel now, Cuts Clothing. If you guys have been following this channel for a while, you know I've talked about Cuts a bunch. They're just, they make really good t-shirts that like, they have different styles of cut. You can do split hem or curve hem or, or Henley down the middle. They're just really premium shirts, hoodies. They've got joggers. I've got their sweatpants that I pretty much live in. Like when this camera is not on me, I just wear their sweatpants. And I've also told you guys that the main reason that I wear them is that my wife likes how I look in these shirts. It's the first time I've ever put on t-shirts and, and Morgan was like, hey, that looks really good, like really cute outfit. And I'm like, yo, this is a t-shirt and jeans. If you are looking for some super dope t-shirts, hoodies, joggers, all that different stuff, you can actually support this channel by going over to Cuts and supporting Cuts. By supporting Cuts, who supports me, you support me. And you get some super dope clothes out of it for 15% off, use the first link in the description. All of that jazz. Okay, into this bag, let's see if this thing fits the bill for minimal backpack that doesn't look like a camera bag, it doesn't, it doesn't doesn't feel like a camera bag. It can even not even be a camera bag, but when you have a camera or some other camera-y stuff, it can hold it really well. And this bag here is from, from Brevity? Brevity, Brevity. I actually looked up how to say this name because when I first saw it, I was like, Bre Brevet? Breveté? Was it, is it French? En Francais? <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's, it's said Brevity. For those of you that like to correct how I say things on this channel, I looked it up. How do I get this box open? There we go. Well, I mean, right off the bat, I can tell you it's much more minimal than than that thing. Ooh, it feels good too. Okay, this is the, you see that? The jumper photo from Brevity Backpacks. Right off the bat, I can say uh, it looks, it looks like a normal backpack. That doesn't look much like a camera backpack. Yeah, if I was just walking down the street, I don't think you would think that I had camera gear in there and that, that kind of fits the whole first part about what you guys were looking for. This color here is their moonlit blue, but this thing comes in 10 different colors. So uh, lots of options for however you want to style your bag. And also I feel like a colored bag kind of same thing. It kind of just hides the fact that you have camera gear inside. Black backpacks just kind of scream, hey, it's a camera backpack. There's lots of expensive things in here if anyone wants to rob me. <laughs> Somebody sent me from my what's in my camera bag video. They they totaled up everything that was inside of it and they sent me the total of how much it was. And it, it made me a little sick. It also made me realize that I need to be more careful with my camera backpack because I have not been. All right, into the outside of this backpack, the, the first thing is this very front bit here, which is like a, this seriously is like a school bag, like front pocket organizer. You can hold some stuff in there. It's got mesh pockets on this side, mesh pockets on that side. Moving around to the side of the bag, this is probably one of the, the main kind of tip offs that this is a camera backpack. This is a quick access side thing, so you can pop your camera out of there quickly. Rolling around to the back of the bag here, you've got, I would say they're decently padded straps. Like they're not heavy duty padded straps like this guy or some of my other camera backpacks, but this is more like, more like a normal book bag strap, but maybe a little bit thicker than like a normal book bag would be. Also a nice touch on the back here is a luggage pass-through. So if you've got if you've got like a, a suitcase or something like that with a long trolley handle, you can kind of just pop that on there and you don't have to carry your backpack through the airport. Always super helpful. Over on this side is a water bottle pocket and it's one of those like super expandable ones, which, which I like because you can fit really big water bottles, which is usually what I have but I don't have one right now. Hang on, bear back. Okay, this is a, a 32 ounce water bottle. Definitely a, a larger version because it's like the double walled insulated version. So it's not just like a, a normal Nalgene. It's, it's even thicker. Let's see how that fits in there. Ah, I would say it's it's a little snug, but totally fits. Like not, not hard to get in and out of that pocket. But then you'll also see this little strap on the side there. And that is so that if you wanted to use the side pocket as a tripod holder, 
or for any kind of tall things. You can put that in and then you take this little strap, you go across the front to this side, hook it on that little front piece and then just kind of snug this thing down and it, it holds the Peak Design tripod really well. It almost looks like it's made for it. Like it's like the exact height of the Peak Design travel tripod is the Brevity Jumper, Brevity? Crap. Yes, Brevity Jumper Backpack. Notably kind of missing on this setup here is there is no way to remove this top strap or or like even to tuck it away. So it's always gonna be on there. You just kind of tighten it up and it stays on there. But there are other backpacks that use a similar system where either this thing totally comes off and you can just store it if you're not gonna use it or you unhook it here and there's like a little pocket where you can kind of shove it in there and tuck it away. But again, on the Brevity Jumper, it just, it just stays there. Not a big deal. And lastly on the outside, by far, my favorite feature of, of any backpack, and it's actually one that I wish my current backpack had and does not have, and it's a, it's a secret pocket on the back panel. I love pockets like this. I feel like you can fit a whole passport in there, which I feel like what it's for. Hang on. Got a passport. Let's see how it fits. Oh yeah. Fits with room to spare. And then when it's on your back, it gives you kind of just that added bit of security because it's it's on your back. Just in general though, I love back panel, po every backpack should have a back panel pocket of some kind so that while it's on you, there's no way that anyone around you could access that pocket. All right, now let's get into the actual internals of this bag. Up top here is a very large pocket. And this is kind of the, the spot where you would put kind of more everyday goods. Maybe you're going to the gym, maybe you're going to class, something like that. Put all your stuff up here. There's a, a zipper on this front panel and then it spans this entire front panel here. So that's great for organization. Oh, and up top here on the very back up here is your laptop pocket. So maybe you're a student, maybe you're just someone that wants to go to a coffee shop to get some work done. Supposedly this fits up to a 16 inch laptop. We will see. With the brand new MacBook Pro, let's see how it fits into that pocket. Oh, <laughs> this laptop is so fat. It fits, but it's like a snug fit. Not, not height wise, more, more width wise this way. So the, the new MacBook Pro 16 inch, it does fit in here. But I would say if you had a smaller laptop, that'd probably be better for this backpack or for any backpack, really. This laptop is just not good for back. It doesn't even fit in this one very well. And this thing's huge. But if you have this laptop and you have this backpack, you can fit it. Yes. Confirmed. All right, back to the internal spot and, and the one that you guys obviously want to know about. And it's the, the bottom area that is for cameras. So this front zipper is again for organization, but right behind it is another zipper where this whole front panel pops down. And in here is where you would put your camera gear. Do not eat. Comes with these removable camera divider bits right here. And then I'm gonna set it up just how I see it on the website. And then we'll we'll play with different how, kind of how gear fits and, and we'll go from there. Okay, so that's, that's how it's set up. So it's like one going down the middle. Oh, I get it. It's because of the side access. You wanna be able to have your camera this way. So this guy is gonna go down the middle this way then. And this is what I am left with. So I kind of made it so that the camera fits over here and then I would have a spot kind of above it and a spot below it. And then over here, this is divided into two sections, which again gives me so that if my camera is on this side like this and this is zip close, I can use this little side access, open it up here and grab my camera and pull it out. But let's see what else I can fit in this backpack because again, you guys are looking for more of a minimal setup. This might not be for, hey, I'm gonna go out with everything that I have in that bag. That bag is 25 liters, this bag is 18 liters. So I don't think that I'm gonna be able to fit everything I have in that bag in here, but I'm going to kind of do more of like a minimal setup. Like maybe maybe me and Morgan are just going out like a smaller day trip with the kids and I just want a small little backpack to have with me. I don't need all my gear, I just need some of it. All right, uh, let's fit our microphone. I feel like the microphone I'm gonna put in this top pocket, like up here, got the ZV-1, but I'm gonna take it out of the case because I don't feel like I need the case. Again, we're going minimal on this setup. Take an Insta 360 and a GoPro, and I'm gonna fit it down here in this bottom bit. Drone, I don't know if it's gonna make it in this bag, so let's put that aside. Some ND filters, I'm gonna put those on this outside area because I feel like 
These mesh pockets are gonna be, oh, they are perfect for them. Got the Insta360 invisible selfie stick. I'm gonna go up top with that piece. This tech bag, I don't think this is gonna fit very well, so I might have to pull some stuff out of here to put in here, but we'll see. I'm gonna grab three GoPro batteries. I'm gonna put them up front. Grab a Rode Lav 2, I think this is Lavalier 2. Aperture MC light, I'm gonna tuck that in this kind of top spot right here. And it's not feeling too heavy yet. Uh, over here, need SD cards. Oh, I'm gonna do the top pocket internal zip, like in here. I'm gonna use this piece and I'm gonna pop SD cards in there. Grabbing that, that coast headlamp. I don't know, this top pocket feels like a good place to just kind of stuff. Definitely need some extra batteries for the A7S III. Front pocket holds a lot, but, but the more you put in it, kind of the more bulky it's gonna look out front. It's not gonna sit so flush now. Now I've got, I've got a bit of a bulge. I mean, as far as the main stuff goes, if I do not bring my drone with me, which bringing a drone anywhere is getting harder and harder anyways, take the drone out of the equation. And this bag holds most everything that I keep in my other camera bag minus the tech pouch. Now, a bunch of you asked me to make a whole video of what's inside this tech pouch, so I might do that because it's definitely different than what it was, I think a year ago, or two years ago when I made the little bits video. But if I close this bottom bit up here and I, I mean, Hang on. If I was really gonna jam this thing full, I could fit this up top here. Wait for it. Oh, this actually fits really nicely up there, but it doesn't leave much room for much else. Jam the invisible selfie stick right there. I could get my headlamp over right here. If I, if I push this down like this, I get a bunch of room at the top here. Oh, and the Video Mic Pro Plus fits up top. This little backpack held everything that I keep in my in my really big backpack, minus the drone and the drone remote controller, and then like some like little stuff. But I would say, uh, as far as holding stuff, that's a surprise. Did I not forget anything? And it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like super heavy. Somehow it feels lighter than when I have it in that bag. That's way more stuff than I thought this was gonna hold. Oh, one more thing. If you have all this stuff in there, maybe one day you go out and you, you shoot with it, you're gonna do a photo shoot, you're gonna do a video shoot, something like that. You're gonna pack it full of camera gear. But the next day you're like, I wanna go to class and I wanna use this as my book bag in class. Quickly, let's get everything out of here. Okay, so now you've got all the camera gear out of there and you're like, I wanna go to class and I just use this as like my everyday backpack. You can just rip these camera dividers out of here and this divider that kind of makes it like a bottom camera cube and a top everyday carry stuff, this actually folds away also. So you just kind of pull this Velcro away here and then you lay the whole thing up top flat. And boom, now this whole thing is, is one big pocket. So now you could use this just like a normal book bag with a computer slot and, and all that. Big water bottle pocket, a hidden pocket. This is a good bag. Oh, did I mention it has a tripod thing on the bottom too? So you can hook a tripod on the bottom if you wanna use the side pocket for a water bottle and you wanna use this for your tripod, then you can hold even more stuff. Huh. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. I really got this bag because you guys asked for like more of a minimal bag, but now that I've got it, this seems, seems really useful. You guys asked for a minimal bag that's kind of an everyday style bag. Doesn't look like a camera backpack, but can hold camera gear. And the jumper from Brevity, uh, fits the bill. I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, hit that like button below. Maybe you think about subscribing. And a massive thank you to Cuts for sponsoring this video and to everybody that recommended the jumper backpack to me. I, I'm i super impressed. All right, I will, uh, I'll see you guys soon. Shabbat. Well, hot damn, I didn't mess up one time. No bloopers today.